everybody, my name is Steven and welcome to another PFL Quick Tip. Today I'm going to be showing you the top three ways that I sharpen a image. Um, these are probably going to be in order of the way that I use them. So let's start off with filter, sharpen, and unsharp mask. This one I don't really use, but it is a great way to sharpen an image because you have quite a bit of control. You can change the amount of sharpening, uh, radius, um, not really sure what radius means, but it, uh, it all allows you to mess with it. Um, a lot of people recommend using this. This is the, usually the first choice for sharpening professional images and all that. But um, I'm not too much of a fan of it because I like something that's really quick and easy to do. So that's one way. And then a second way is um, this one is a little bit slower. You duplicate the layer. Go to Filter, Other, and High Pass, and you want to bring this down. Uh, you can mess with this to find what looks good. I like to bring it down to um, just to mainly where the edges are showing in the image. Then you click OK, and then you go to your layer style and change it to Overlay. And if I hide and unhide this, you can see the difference of before and after. The leaves are quite a bit sharper. So right here I love to do this one because I'm able to add a layer mask and I can just choose certain spots that I want to be sharp. Something like this and there you go. This is my favorite way. Uh, but I don't often use it because again it is a little bit slow. So this is the one that I use all the time that most of you probably already know of and it's just a simple filter, sharpen, and sharpen. You have no options with it, it's just automatic sharpening. I love this one, but people don't really recommend using it, but uh, for something quick and easy, that's what, usually what I go with. And one thing you can always do is duplicate the layer, go to filter, sharpen, and sharpen it, and then you can add a layer mask to this, and you can just mask out certain areas that you don't want sharpened. That works pretty nicely. And to thank you for watching this far into the video, I'm going to show you the most obsolete way of sharpening that I, I've tried to use but I always go back because I hate it. So you can click on this finger here or whatever it is for you, it's underneath the gradient tool, click and hold and go to the sharpen tool and you can just click and you know drag wherever you want sharpened. And um, as you can see, it does a it does a pretty good job for sharpening, but I just don't like it. It just seems like I always over sharpen things. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching and try these out. See what you like best. Uh, put in the comment below what your favorite is, or if you have a, another way of doing a a nice looking sharpen. So thanks for watching, and be sure to check out the other videos, and let me know if you have any questions.